Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Chris. I'm here to do another quick gear review. Uh, today's gear review is for a, a, a Snug Pack jungle hammock with mosquito netting. Um, I live here in South Georgia, and uh, if you live anywhere in the southeast part of the United States, uh, you know we have we have uh, mosquitoes that can literally carry you away and suck your blood in the middle of the night. And uh, so having something, uh, some form of uh, insect protection uh, in a hammock or any kind of camping equipment is going to be a plus here in the south so uh so this is uh gonna be a, a good review uh hopefully and uh let, let me go ahead and take a look at this uh thanks for watching and you guys are watching the dabblers den hey guys all right, so uh, this is how the, the package comes. Uh, um, I, I did just do a review for the uh, Snug Pack Tropical Hammock. Um, uh, it almost is identical packaging, just a little bit bigger to accommodate for the uh, mosquito netting. Um, I will say that my package, uh, the, the uh, zipper, one of the zippers is broken. So, uh, but again, that doesn't affect the hammock itself. Um, again, I'll probably end up using these pow packs for, uh, for something else anyways. Um, so let me go and open this up and show you what's inside. You can see it's got this uh, this mesh breathable material, so you can put pretty much anything in here, uh, maybe maybe food, something like that, while you're traveling, uh, and and everything it won't get damp or, or stay moldy or anything like that. So very breathable. Um, it does come with a set of instructions. Um, the instructions are mainly for the mosquito netting. They want to make sure that you don't hang the mosquito net too high initially. Um, if you do that, once you get into the hammock uh, and the hammock sinks down, uh, you will drop with the hammock, but the uh, mosquito netting will stay attached to the guidelines uh, and it can rip them right out of the, uh, right out of the hammock. So uh, hopefully that won't happen today, but uh, let's go ahead again. Warning, you know, they do, they do provide instructions on how to avoid that. All right, so here's the, uh, the hammock in its pouch. Uh, let me go and open this up. Again, this is a uh, the coyote color. It also comes in an olive drab, uh, olive green color. Um, you know, whichever preference. This is actually kind of a neat color. Uh, it's more of like a tan, tannish brown. All right, so here are the, uh, these look like the tree straps. Uh, very similar to the tropical hammock. It's just 550 paracord. Um, and I think that these are the guidelines for the, uh, uh, for the mosquito netting with the uh, with the clips there, so I'll put these down for now. All right, so first things first. Again, we have the uh, the same type of 550 paracord that comes with the tropical hammock. Um, again, this is the jungle hammock. Uh, that can get a, a bit confusing. I'm not quite sure why Snug Pack has stuck with that over so many years. Uh, but uh, the tropical hammock does not have the bug net. The jungle hammock does have the bug net. So, and uh, this is for the uh, for the jungle hammock. All right, so again, the 550 uh, tree straps. Um, the same thing uh, with, with as I was doing the other demonstration. Um, you got to be very careful with uh, 550 paracord. Um, you don't want to cutting into your tree. You can see up here um, from where I was doing the uh, tropical hammock, uh, it did kind of cut into this a little bit. And you got to just be very careful that uh, it doesn't damage the tree while, while you do that. Uh, there are places uh, I know down in Florida that. They won't let you hang hammocks because they're not sure whether you're using the proper tree straps or not. Okay, so here are the straps. Uh, again, they did they come pre-knotted, um, and it has a, a extra length here to go ahead and wrap around the tree. I'll go and do this side. I'll, I'll run over to the other side, come back and grab the hammock, and uh, hang that as well. So give me just a minute. Um, as I as I mentioned before, uh, using something like a stick to uh, to put in between the tree and these straps is always a good idea. I'm going to put this in the place where it bit last time uh, to kind of help protect the tree a little bit. Uh, 
this hammock, like the tropical hammock, also has the uh, the steel carabiners uh, coated probably in a black paint, uh, and then the 550 paracord bunching the end together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the uh, the guy lines that come with the uh, with the the hammock. Um, again, this is mainly just to keep the uh, the bug netting off your face while you're while you're laying in the hammock. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do uh, to hang this mosquito netting is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach uh, the guy lines to the actual um, tree strap uh, just because I, I'm kind of farther apart than I think this hammock is designed for. Uh, so let me go ahead, I'm gonna attach it to uh, one of the ends of the guy line, uh, run it through the attachments that they have on the bug net uh, and then tie it somewhere in the middle um, coming from both directions. So the hammock is ready to be laid in. Uh, you can see I've got it up kind of high. Uh, the paracord is going to stretch quite a bit, and uh, so you want it, to, want it to be up that kind of high. Uh, we also want to make sure that the uh, the guidelines for the actual mosquito net um, aren't too high. So so it's kind of a balancing act between the two. So uh, let's just take a look at it and let me sit in it and see how it goes. All right, so this is the view from inside the hammock. Um, you can see that this does hold up pretty well. You know, uh, you know, at least the, the guy lines are holding the mosquito net up off, off my face. Uh, there are a couple sewn in pockets, um, you know, just big enough to maybe put a flashlight in, maybe a wallet or a cell phone. Um, again, same issues that I had with the, uh, with the uh, tropical hammock. You know, this, this one has some some uh, stitching that is that is coming undone. Um, Got to be careful with that. Uh, I see a couple strings here and there. Uh, so you know, uh, I'm not sure how serious a lot of that is, but uh, uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, anyways, this is the view from inside, uh, from inside the hammock. Uh, it's it's relatively comfortable. Again, it's kind of shorter than most um, camping hammocks are uh, nowadays. So again, this is even though this is designed for taken out and, and uh, you know camping overnight in the woods um, it might be kind of difficult uh, to sleep in so uh, keep that I will say though that right now with the breeze blowing oh it feels nice it does feel good <laughs> all right all right so that's the uh, snug pack jungle hammock uh, with the mosquito netting um, that the the suggested uh, manufacturer retail price um, it's coming in right around $80. Um, that's kind of a stretch. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't pay that for, for this hammock. Uh, right now on Amazon, they're going for around $45. Um, with a bug net, uh, that's, that's iffy. Um, you know, again, just like before, you know, do, do your due diligence. You know, do your research. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to email me um, at dabblers.den at gmail.com. Uh, leave uh, questions in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, but hey, Slug Pag uh, Jungle Hammock, check them out, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching this snapshot of one of my life's many adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This channel is a work in progress, so I would appreciate constructive feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Cottrell, you've been watching The Dabbler's Den, and bottom line YouTubers, just get out there and do something.